Hey, what's going on guys? John here. I hope you guys are all well. Uh, this video is a personal video and not a football or comedy video. So if you do end up watching it, I hope you can take away from this maybe the energy that you can think about your close ones and your loved ones tonight and maybe hold them close and tell them that you love them. Because today, LVMH Group have announced that CEO and founder of Off-White, as well as the, artist, uh, the menswear artistic designer of Louis Vuitton, Virgil Abloh has passed away at the age of 41. He's been battling a rare form of cancer privately uh, since being diagnosed in 2019, apparently, according to them. And um, he has unfortunately succumbed to that. Uh, it's horrible news and it's, it's tragic and it's extremely saddening. Um, personally, I've nev never been a big fan of fashion. I've always just wore, wore whatever I saw. I've never really cared too much about what I wore. Never been really all that about in the world of fashion. But Virgil Abloh and his collaborations that he did with Nike, a brand that I absolutely adore and love, um, pretty much paved that way for me. And Virgil Abloh's contributions in the world of luxury fashion, as well as the, the world of collaborations. He was a trailblazer and he, he opened the floodgates in that aspect. As a black designer in a world of fashion that's predominantly white and predominantly um, difficult for minorities to get into. For Virgil Abloh to be able to find himself in that space and become a creative disruptive force uh, is... Something that nobody can take away from this mogul and this icon that was Virgil. Whether you agree with his artistic choices, whether you disagree with his fashion choices, whatever your, you, your opinion is on Virgil Abloh, nobody will be able to take away from the fact that he was an icon and he was a trailblazer and he's a, a, somebody that has created and paved the way for so many creators and so many collaborations and so many things in, the, in a, such a short span of time. And he will be truly truly terribly missed and he's gone way too soon uh, but the thing that saddens me, saddens me a lot and sort of compelled me to make this video is because he's been battling it privately and of course i'm sure his inner circle knew about it and of course he was he had all the support that he needed or he felt that he needed but it's just sad man i mean i don't know i'm sure virgil he knows what he was doing but I really wish, I guess, from fans' perspective, maybe we could have provided a bit more support. It just feels to me like it's just sad, you know. When we heard about Chadwick Boseman and his passing, because he was also privately battling cancer, and then we were we were watching interviews uh, post uh, uh, Ch uh, Chadwick Boseman's um, death that. You know, he was doing interviews with children that were also uh, battling cancer. He didn't want to say anything pr publicly, but he was crying because he wanted to show support in terms of the fight that he was uh, going through. Um, and he was crying and that was mad emotional to watch. You know what I mean, and, you know, news like this about cancer, it just it's horrible, man. Cancer is just cancer is tough. It, it's it's. You know, fuck cancer, really. I mean, how else can you say it? If there's one thing that I really wish we had an advancement in technology is is with respect to medicine and with respect to health. And I really wish we figured out a way to battle cancer the way it needs to be battled because this is, it sucks. I've lost friends, I've lost family to cancer. And I've been thinking a lot about life these past few days because just a couple days ago, I was chatting with a friend that I have not spoken to in a bit. Of, in a bit. You know, as life goes, we, we grow old and we have, we go our own separate ways. And we were just chatting, catching up, and we, I was told that just last week, a close friend of ours, a mutual friend, uh, passed away at a hotel in Arizona alone. And um, he was such a good, he was such a good man. He was such a sweet, sweet, warm friend of mine. I had only just been in America a couple of years, and, and he went out of his way to care for me. He was such a loving guy, and he was really warm, and he was a really good guy. And um, he's the same age as me, and he, he had passed away uh, so life is beautiful, but life can also be so cruel, you know, and it's so short and it's so delicate and it's so fragile. I really wish there was a way we can, really wish there was a way we can protect ourselves without having to worry about such things, but such is the fragility of life. And if there's anything I guess we could take away from this is that, you know, just think about your loved ones, think about your close ones and tell them that you love them tonight. Uh, because it sucks, you know, losing anybody like that. Um, Virgil, like I said before, he was an inspiration for me because I've, 
Uh, so I have a lot of friends in the fashion world who are very critical of Virgil's work and who didn't really um, align themselves with Virgil's um, cre uh, creative direction. But nobody can take away from him, take away from him his importance in the world of fashion not just in terms of the fashion aspect of himself but in terms of the culture in terms of the fact that he was able to open so many doors for so many people and for me personally uh, open my open me into the world of fashion and um uh yeah he will truly be missed um, so rest in peace rest in paradise virgil and uh, hopefully wherever you are you'll just be living in happiness and won't have to worry about pain and suffering yeah, that's it, guys. If you guys are also tuning in, make sure you guys also think about your loved ones and think about your close ones tonight. Um, and if anybody's battling cancer, do whatever you can to support them because cancer is no joke. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys.